Denver. All of this doesn't matter. None of this matters if if Arizona plays NA or the score against NAU or how many points they gave up against New Mexico. Absolutely none of it matters if Arizona goes out there and beats Kansas State. People need to be people need to remember that. The game gets serious, the game gets real now. If Arizona goes into Manhattan, Kansas, and beats Kansas State, then we're sitting there saying, "Hey, remember when we were? Uh, remember when we were worried about, uh, um, you know, uh, only beating a certain team by like twenty-one points or two touchdowns or whatever?" Nobody will care. So I have a question for you. Arizona has a bye week over Kansas State. Mm-hmm. On a scale of one to ten, how unbearable are we for the next two weeks if Arizona goes to Kansas State and wins? Oh, we will be unbearable as well. And all the people asking me for an apology, I will go right back at them and say, no apology from me. Apologize you, silly goose. Yes. That's where that's where I'm we'll at with this. Now, let's talk about there'll be, there'll be, We'll get to this later in a week. I watched the Tulane versus Kansas State game at, uh, no joke, 1 a.m. in the morning. Mm-hmm. They are beatable. They're good. But we're gonna beat. we're gonna briefly touch on that now. Um, now, uh, Kansas State. Here's the deal with Kansas State. You got a run. You got a running back at quarterback who can really run. He's very very fast. Now, I also have no clue if he can throw the ball at all. Every single game he's ever played in, his stat line is always this: fifteen of thirty two for one seventy eight, one touchdown, one pick. That is every single game for Avery Johnson so far. So again, I do not look at this, and I think a lot of times errors. I think a lot of times people are like, "Oh well, you know, it's just our team that's struggling." I did not look at Kansas State and say Arizona can't beat them. As a matter of fact, if we get further on in the week, we might even pick the upset. If you go to their message board and you read their Twitter comments and all that, it is a very similar feeling to Arizona. So what people don't realize is their their offensive coordinator is different. This is his first time calling plays. Arizona has Babers, who hasn't called plays in years, and it's different. Uh, Their defense, their secondary has been awful this season. Um, you know, they're it, it, it's it's very similar the feeling. Now I, I asked Brennan if Dampier is similar to Johnson in terms of prep or help them. And he said Avery Johnson is faster than Dampier and has a much better arm. Okay. I'll give him the better arm. I don't see how he's much faster than Dampier. I think Dampier is possible to uh, I don't think it's possible to be Dampier's one of the fastest quarterbacks I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean that I don't I don't know. I do not believe that. And here's what I'm also gonna say. I think Dampier's probably better than Avery Johnson. Maybe Johnson's better in the future, but Dampier is really, really good. Uh I will say this too, though. I think Kansas State defensively is a really good team. I know yes, their sir. secondary is struggling, but their linebacking core with Romaine and Moore and Purnell is sure. really good. Their D line is really good. Their secondary has not been good this season, but tackling like they are a really, they only missed six tackles the entire game uh, against Tulane. And the first week they only missed um, uh, seven. Right. By the way, we are up to 200 lives now, everybody. Uh, we might even beat the post game show from last. Uh, let's keep him going. Keep spreading the uh, word. Very, very good. Appreciate you all. But again, I think Arizona, we're going to, and we're going to talk about this a lot more tomorrow. I think Arizona has a very, very real chance in this. Now, the people asking, can Justin Flo be the spy? No. There's a, our guy, Portland Timbers, posted mm-hmm. up some good clips. I'll retweet it about like he was the spy. Last year against Shador on one play, and Shador gained like 30 yards on the ground. Right. And then there's another play on another game where he was a spy, and they blew him up. And, look, I like Flo. I get it. We always have to paraphrase. We like Flo. I don't want to imagine, and I'll say this for Tay Brown, too. What scares me the most is Dylan Edwards in open space. Yeah. Tay Brown or Justin Flo, and them having to cover him scares the crap out of me. Yeah, it it does. It just it is what it is. It is what it is. I do have faith, and again, maybe it comes back to bite me in the uh, bite me in the tush. But I do think that uh, I do. I have faith in Dwayne Keene. I have faith in this defense. I don't think that it's going to be great or bad. We all silly like the mayor. 